Hello guys and welcome to Miami. My name is Samuel Bubaus and today I will share with you exactly how I open four corporate bank accounts, four personal bank accounts and how I got three unlimited high level credit cards here in the US as a non-US citizen and non-US resident. I already explained to you in one of my last videos why US LLCs are 90% of all cases the best tax-free company setup in the world, especially if you're a non-US citizen, non-US resident, especially if you're an online entrepreneur, because we are talking about zero tax, zero tax stability, no accounting, anonymity, and it's extremely easy and fast to set up company and fintech bank accounts location independent online. But we are only talking about fintech bank accounts, about online banks, not about real, local, traditional bank accounts with private banking and high level credit cards. And before I explain you how to get this high level bank accounts, I want to share with you four scenarios so that you as a high level entrepreneur really understand why you need to put in more effort and focus in getting the right bank accounts. Scenario number one, I see it almost every single day. You are a startup entrepreneur, you start to make millions and you think your business is going perfectly fine and your business basically collapses from one to the next second because you receive an email which says your fintech bank account is blocked and all your funds are frozen because for this online banks you are just a number, you are just a regular customer, doesn't matter how much money you make and this day will come when they just block your account and you don't even know why, maybe it was one wrong transaction, maybe they don't like your business model and this is something that you can 100% avoid because with this kind of money you can get high level private banking everywhere around the world. You have the phone number of your banker, you can call your private banker all the time, you can visit him in the branch. Your private banker makes sure that all big transactions are going perfectly fine, that your bank account is protected. Scenario number two is credit cards. You obviously have a lot of expenses as a high level entrepreneur and it makes sense to pay all expenses with high level credit cards because I give you an example. I stay in five star hotels, I fly first class non-stop and I pay basically nothing because I have unlimited amounts of points and miles from this high level credit cards. Scenario number three is building leverage. Let's just imagine in a dream world, you're an online entrepreneur for 10 years, making millions, everything is going perfectly fine, only with fintech bank accounts, and then you decide to buy a business or to go big into the real estate game or to scale your business and you need funding from a bank. The bank will tell you they cannot help you because you have no credit score, no internal score, no relationship to the bank, nothing. And scenario number four is building substance. You just don't know what's happening in this world right now and you as a location independent online entrepreneur want to become a sovereign individual. You want to have bases and stability and assets and residencies all over the world and many countries offer you residency simply by having a right bank deposit in a local traditional bank in place. So for example, if I want to get an E2 investor visa or a green card here in the US, I can get it immediately because I have big bank deposits in local banks and I have my investments in place. It can open you so many doors and the next question is obviously how do you get high level US bank accounts? You need to fly to beautiful Miami, enjoy the boats, enjoy the supercars, enjoy the beaches, enjoy the networking aspect and you need to go to the bank in person with all your documents. Which documents do you need? You need your company documents, your service agreement and your operating agreement. You need your EIN, your ITIN. You need two types of documents. You need your passport and for example, a driver's license or national ID. And then comes the problems because the banks want to receive a proof of address that you have an apartment or a house here in the US. They want to see a utility bill. They want to see a contract and no, the banks will not accept virtual addresses, mailbox addresses, post office, no. The bank wants to see that you live in the US and this is why most people think they cannot get a US 
bank account, but you are lucky because I'm here in Miami. I paid for connections and I can help you to get a utility bill immediately. And this is what I did. So I went to the bank and I immediately got all bank accounts that I needed. Of course, it was much easier because I paid for connections. So the bankers already knew me when I arrived in the bank. And this is also how I got this high level unlimited credit cards much easier, much faster without waiting for many years. And this is what I did. Which banks did I choose? First, I went to Chase because Chase is my favorite bank for corporate banking. It's the safest and they have great credit cards and I decided to put $50,000 deposit in my personal bank account and $100,000 deposit in my corporate bank account and so I became Chase private client and yesterday they called me because now I have $500,000 deposit in my bank account and so I became Chase JP Morgan client obviously great credit card and this would be totally enough but I paid for a mastermind for credit score for credit hacking and they recommended to me to open more bank accounts and this is why I also went to Bank of America, to Wells Fargo and to Capital One. And I really need to admit that I absolutely enjoyed my stay here in Miami at Mandarin Oriental, of course, and also at the Four Seasons residences. Great apartments, great service, directly connected to Equinox Gym, great food. And I just want to tell you that it's extremely easy to live in a bubble and to build hate against a certain country and to get a certain picture. For example, I totally understand sitting at home watching news to build hate against America, to build hate against many other Western countries for all the devil and evil things that they're doing with the world. And it's absolutely right. But you also need to understand that it's mostly politicians and that most people who live in this country not necessarily support all these things and you also need to ask yourself what can you do about all these situations because it's extremely easy to just sit and to hate certain ethnicities and countries but it doesn't help anybody you need to see that you become rich and financially independent location independent so that you can take care of yourself of your family and your surrounding and then you can take care of the rest of the world and if you need help to set up a tax-free company for example in Dubai or here in the US if you need to set up your right banking if you need help to get the best credit cards and unlimited amounts of funding or if you need a utility bill then just go to wealthconsulting.com book a call with us because we have the best experience all over the world and 100% the best product the best solution and the best connections for you and I would say see you in the call or see you in the next video.